Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'll show you how to clean up your audio in Premiere Pro using Adobe Audition CC. So I've gone ahead and created a new composition here in Premiere Pro, and I've imported my raw footage from the video tutorial that I recorded for this example. I've gone ahead and dragged that video clip here onto the timeline, and I've dragged out the bottom of the audio channel so that you can see the entire waveform. And what I want to do is I want to right click on the waveform and I want to choose edit clip in Adobe Audition. That's going to create a round trip edit. So it's going to export it and then import it into Adobe Audition. Then you'll want to locate your effects rack and that's where you're going to apply all of your effects to clean up your audio. Under presets, I've created a preset that's called clean up voiceover. I base that preset off of the preset called podcast voice. So you could select podcast voice and that's a good starting point, and then you can refine each of these effects. And I'll go ahead and show you what I've done to these effects. So I'm gonna add my cleanup voice over preset. The reason why I add a preset is because then it's really easy just to add this preset, click apply, save it, and then I'm done, rather than have to add each of these effects here to the effects rack individually. So I'm gonna click on the triangle next to adaptive noise reduction, and go to edit effect, and you can go ahead and match these settings here. There's also presets you can choose that work really well, like heavy noise reduction or light noise reduction. I believe I based this off of light noise reduction because I don't have a whole lot of background noise. And that's really important. You can only clean up your audio so much. So if you have a lot of background noise, really the better thing to do is change your environment and reduce background noise. I made sure to check high quality mode here as well. So I've added that adaptive noise reduction effect, which will reduce the background noise quite a bit. If you have extreme background noise, what you can do is you can actually just select an area of silence that has a background noise. Then you can go to effects, noise reduction restoration. You'll wanna capture a noise print that'll analyze your audio for noise. Then you wanna select all. So I can do control A to select your entire track and then go to effects, noise reduction, noise reduction process to process the whole track. Now you can increase or decrease the amount of reduction here. I like to keep mine around 70 or 80%. And this is kind of the extreme noise reduction. I use this when I have a lot of white noise in the background. For example, if a fan comes on or I have a lot of white noise from something like a shotgun mic or an onboard camera mic, you could click apply to apply that to your whole track. But typically when I'm recording on my condenser mic, if I don't have a noisy background, the adaptive noise reduction works just fine. And it's a lot faster to apply. You don't need to apply both the adaptive noise and the noise reduction here, you only need to do one or the other. So I'm gonna stick with adaptive noise reduction, that's fine. Next is de -esser. Depending on how you speak, you may have a lot of s -s 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 sound when you're making an S. I have that a little bit, so I add a little bit of a de -esser. Most people will wanna add this, it makes the audio easier to listen to. And the preset that I used was male voice de -esser. If you're female, you would choose female voice. Next is the parametric equalizer. It's like the EQ on your stereo. We'll go to edit effect. This is the same preset that came with the podcast voice preset. I haven't changed it at all. I think this works pretty well. You could try to just match these settings if you prefer, or you can just start from the podcast voice preset. And basically what that's doing here is that's rolling off a little bit of low end. So that's kind of cutting off hums and other kinds of low frequency noise that doesn't need to go in the audio. It's boosted the mid range a tiny bit. It's lowered a particular area in the mid range to make my audio sound better. And it's boosted the high range a little bit over here. So it's a very subtle tweak, but it makes your voice sound a lot better. Next, we'll look at speech volume leveler. That does, as it says, it levels the volume of your speech. You can play around with these presets here if you want it to be softer, stronger, or medium. I believe I have this set to soft because it does kind of an extreme job if you set it too high. You don't want your voice to be completely level. You want it to have some dynamics and be quieter and louder in some places. So just level it off a little. We'll take a look at hard limiter. Hard limiter is going to make your voice as loud as possible without being too loud to where it peaks out and ruins the audio. And again, these settings are just based off the podcast voice preset. There's also presets here where you can make it heavy, light. You can limit it to specific decibel levels. Limiting to negative three or negative 0.1 dB are probably gonna be your best options here because then it's gonna be loud enough to hear without being too loud. The podcast voice gives you kind of a particular sound, but you can also use some of the other presets. You could try DS and limit. You could also try radio announcer voice or voice leveler and noise gate. And just experiment with all of the different effects within those presets. 
Now, when you're ready to apply this effect, you need to click on the apply button before you can save it. So it's gonna take a little bit of time depending on the length of the audio. This is a 20 minute clip of audio. So it's saying that it's gonna take a minute and 30 seconds. Just be patient and let it do its thing. And make sure that you don't close Premiere Pro or really do anything else. Just wait and let this do its thing. Now, once the effects have been applied, you're going to see a very drastic change in the audio waveform. Right now, the waveform is very small and scrunched. But as soon as this is applied, you can see it expands quite a bit. So that's showing that the volume has been leveled out and it's much louder now. Now you'll want to just go ahead and save it using Control S. And then you can close it with Control W. And if you hop back over to Premiere Pro and you just click on the timeline, if you give it a second, it's going to update the audio. So just wait. And there you can see it's updated your audio without you having to re-import it or anything. And now your audio will be nice and clean and level and all the noise will be removed and it'll be loud and clear. Now, just in case something happens and the round trip edit doesn't work, you can also just save this by going to file, save as, you can give it a name if you like, make sure that you save it in the location with your Premiere Pro project. You'll wanna save this as Wave PCM and you'll wanna look at the sample type. We'll click on change. Typically you'll wanna leave this at its default, but if for some reason you needed to down mix this to 16 bits, you could do that here. Otherwise just leave it as it is because the higher bit rate's going to sound better. So there you go. That's a quick tutorial on how to clean up your audio in Premiere Pro using Adobe Audition CC. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.